Alcazar of Jerez de la Frontera is a former Moorish palace now housing a park in Jerez, Spain. The palace was probably built in the 11th century. The outside walls are made up of clay, limestone, sand mortar, pebbles, and pieces of broken pottery. These structures which have been preserved illustrate the brilliant characteristics of the room. You can find the access to the central chamber through a horseshoe archway leading to a square-shaped room covered by an octagon dome. If there was ever an uprising from the inside of the palace, there are strategically placed gaps in the wall to allow vertical attack from above. People would throw hot water, rocks, oil, and even boulders big enough to kill their attacker and their horse. Yikes. Next, we will take a look at the pottery area. It is located within one of the towers and overlooks one of the wings of the palace. This area is where the members made all of their pottery. It consists of an oval base with a dome-shaped cover. Inside, they would have a firebox or boiler where the fire was lit and above this, a grill. One of the main reasons for a building like this palace was to secure a water supply. There was always a steady flow from outside forces from the natural springs nearby, located six kilometers from the center of the town. But what about if the supply was cut off in times of war? That is why the structure like the one in which we are standing was so essential. It would catch the rainwater and supply it to all of Alcazar. And this is the hydraulic network in which the water was used for bathing and irrigation. This water well area was the stored rainwater at times of need and they would use this to irrigate the Garden of Alcazar. These bathing rooms form an inherent part of daily life in Andalus due to their religious significance and hygienic reasons. But also, they were a place for people to gather and talk and hold meetings in a relaxed, intimate setting. Their design corresponds to that of the traditional Islamic bath, which consists of three separate rooms, the cold room, the warm room, and the hot room. We are immediately struck by the beauty of the vaulted ceiling and the star-shaped skylight which served and provide both illumination and ventilation for the rooms. Now that we've explored all around the Moorish Palace, we can enjoy the view of the park with a more in-depth appreciation. historical palace it helps to realize how great like the moors were and how just intelligent and just how badass they were man just this whole little just this little small area that they left over to preserve because a lot of it i guess was destroyed due to, during the crusade but just this area shows how great or vast their reign was 
so yeah man all right guys i hope you enjoyed the tour of alcazar de jerez i know you learned a little bit more about the moors now it's your turn to do some research go online and find some stuff tell me some information that you learned uh, that's pretty much it that's all i got it's your boy king rail from going global